Contrary to what I said in the previous video, I want to look at one more thing in this chapter, and that is smoothing and smoothing groups. So smoothing is quite simple if we're talking about simply smooth and flat shading. With your object selected, simply in the toolbar, click smooth or flat. Now, if you wish to set this on a face-by-face -face basis, you can simply go into edit mode, make any selection you wish, and then click either smooth or flat shading on those and it will shade them as so. But this is, you can also, also find them from the specials menu by choosing W and shade smooth or shade flat. But this is very simple. If you're a game developer or environment artist of any kind, chances are you're going to be working with smoothing groups and want to strictly define your edges quite easily. Well, the way that this is done in Blender, it, beyond just setting the shading attributes of individual faces, is using an edge split modifier. So an edge split modifier is found for the modifier panel, and you can just choose edge split, and it works based on either angles or sharp edges. Now, unless you have a very simplified model, you're probably not going to be using edge angle. Since we have an organic model, we're definitely not going to be using edge angle in this case, but instead are going to be choosing sharp edges. So sharp edges work by defining those creases, basically. So if I hit tab to go into edit mode, and I'll just hit control tab, go into edge select mode, and maybe I want to add in a split along the brow here. Well, I can just alt right click to select that edge loop, and then I'll hit control E and choose mark sharp. What that'll do then is immediately tell this modifier that that should be a seam, and it will actually split those apart. And this works by just duplicating the vertex there. So if we just click apply, you can see that we now have duplicate vertices here uh, to get nice controlled shading. So this is just another way to do it. Within this, of course, you could combine this with your smooth or flat shading. So I can maybe say shade those flat or, or smooth, whatever I wanna do works quite simply just by using a combination of the smooth and flat shading and the edge split modifier.